Road to Vostok, a game that has been on my brain or that <laughs> came to my eyes for what must be months at this point. A solo develop experience so far. I think this guy is going to bring some more people on, but so far it's made by one person that's an ex-army officer in Finland. And I don't know what it is with my neighbors from the east, but they are pumping out amazing games. One of my favorite studios is actually based in Finland called Remedy, the creators of Max Payne and Alan Wake and Control. But I'm rambling. Road to Vostok just released their public demo, the first look we're gonna get at this game, and I am beyond super excited. It's gonna be a little bit of a different video, because this is gonna show what the game's like, some mechanics and stuff, what it will be. I haven't checked anything out. This is literally the first time I'm on the title screen and I want to do this as before together with you guys to see what it's all about. Let's check the roadmap here. As we can see, we're on public demo one. This is mainly to get a first impression, get some feedback over to the dev. This is a game that I have such high hopes for. So if you guys want to do this yourself, go and check the public demo out. It's on Steam. It's free. And if you have any feedback, let the dev know. He's been wanting to do this for 12 years. He just recently became a full-time developer for Road to Vostok. Uh, he got a bunch of great videos on YouTube, so please go and check those out and help the dev with feedback so he can make the best game possible. And before we start, this game is inspired by Stalker, The Zone. I think you guys saw that in the beginning. We got a little bit of information right there, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited about this. But yeah, as I said, a little bit of a different video. Oh yeah, and also before we start, this guy have made his own textures. He's been traveling all over Finland to find, find textures that would fit into these games. He just made those public for you to use. What a guy. What a legend. <laughs> all right. I've been waiting a long time for this. Let's check out the first public demo of Road to Vostok. Here we go. We got the FPS and everything. Health, body and arms. Up in the left corner. Let's move around. So this is set in Finland between the, uh, the border of Finland and Russia, if I remember correctly. Let's read all of these. Welcome to the public demo. The purpose of this small demo is to get initial feedback on the core mechanics and to give a realistic picture of how the development is progressing. Road to Vostok is currently in an active production phase and solo developed from Finland. Have fun testing the demo. And also, this is what I was talking about. This guy is very transparent of what's going on. You can go and check his uh, YouTube and everything like that. So yeah, please, please do, please do. Controls, you can run, sprint, control, all right. Lean, okay, I like that. Uh, prone, Z, oh, that's that's to come, I guess. The star, temporarily removed, okay, there you go. We can run, we can sprint. That feels really smooth, that feels really good. All right, middle mouse, interact, uh, grab, G, weapons, fire mode, F, reload, R, VMB, mouse 4 and 5, laser, flashlight. Oh, I like that, having that on the mouse. All objects that log logically <laughs> have storage space are loot containers that can store items. No way. Crate empty. Each container, whether it's a cabinet, crate, tent, or trash bag, updates every time when you enter the map. You can open containers with middle mouse. There we go. We have the character. We have the inventory. I think the character will be in 2D. If I remember this correctly. So you have torso, head, face, rig, backpack, legs, hands, feet. And then you can see the crate, transfer, inspect, place, drop, destroy. I'm pretty sure this is a placeholder and will change. You do have levels as well, so you can level in this game. That's really cool. And we got the items. All items are physical objects. You can loot them, grab them, and place them anywhere you want. In this demo, items are dem demonstrated using these colored cans, which also represent item rarity. You can loot and activate items by mill. Okay. There we go, but we can also grab them and hold them. Alright, sweet. 
Let's put that right there. All right, that's cool. All right, sweet. That's awesome. And then we have the weapons. I'm excited about this one. Each weapon uses a procedural weapon handling, aiming, and recoil system. Once you have moved a weapon from the inventory to the equipment slot, the weapon is available for activation. Oh, that looks sexy, doesn't it? Yoink. Yoink. We're going to try all of them. And this is the inventory then. So you have... Uh, Oh, stress, fatigue, conditions, strain, pain, bleeding. Oh, starvation, dehydration, insomnia. <gasps> a bunch of stuff. This is actually really cool. Guys, if you want to see all of this, pause the video right now. And we're going to be dragging this. There we go. Oh, here it is. Look at that beaut. Oh, I like the way that looks. Oh... Okay, let's listen to this. Oh my god, that is sexy, ain't it? Let's see. We have the laser right there as well. Moving around a little bit. And then we have the flashlight. You know what? Let's try this during nighttime. That is great. That is really, really cool. I love the sound of it. Back today. Let's pull out our handgun. Yeah, I like this a lot. You got a laser on it as well. So it seems like you have the flashlight and the laser on every weapon right now. This is obviously going to change in the future. Let's see... And now we're uh, gonna try the MP5. And the M4. Dude, this weapon looks amazing. The audio of that. And now MP5. The RK. Ooh, I like that. The RM, the shotgun. And then we have the SA-85. I think this is a basic hunting rifle, right? I d really do enjoy the scopes. Ooh, the punchy sound to that. All right, let me let me play that for you over again. That is sexy. I like that a lot. All right, that's all the weapons. And then we have the AI spawner. This demo uses an AI spawner that endlessly spawn enemies on the map. When you go to the map, there are no enemies at first. Enemies only appear when you activate the spawner. AI spawner activated. And then we have the road map that I showed in the beginning. And then we have all the feedback. Although most of the mechanics are still unfinished, feedback and bug reports are more than welcome. You can use the demo related feedback form or email bug reports to the developer directly. Feedback form, you have it right there on the website, or you have the bug reports email right there. Remember, guys, if you want to try this out for yourself, the demo is free right now on Steam. Go and check it out for yourself. It feels really good so far, and I think uh, it's time that we actually go out into the wild, right? And also, actually, let's get this. I want to get the K4, and then I want to get the Glock, I guess. I guess it's a Glock. I, as I said, I don't know too much about weapons, but... Let's do this. We're going to try this with all the different weathers as well. The weather systems. We need to try that. Oh, hello. So we made it to this Terventuloa. Terventuloa. Is that how you say it in Finnish? I don't know. I don't think it is. 
<laughs> Dude, look at this. Oh, I just love this. The looks of it. The thing is, I'm going to try to dial it down a little bit because I am very hyped for this. Uh, so every, every, every <laughs> reaction from me is going to be like, Oh, look at this! Oh, these trash bags! Garbage! Empty! Let's go in and check this house out. Got some bats, some... Uh, what is that? Hamsters? No. Oh, that's a mole, that, isn't it? And this is what he was talking about, right? You can you check the cabinets. And you have the items right there. Transfer. Can I do that like that? Oh, I just click them. Oh, I click transfer for it to transfer. And then if I want to use it, I click you. All right, I see. Refrigerator. Can I open this? Sweet. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the quest. That scared me. <laughs> I wonder if you can see those. I think it's just audio right now, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have ice on him. Let's try to flank. Let's push up. Uh. Where the fuck? Okay, we got one. There's more people around. Not too smart running out in the open like this, I guess. Let's see. All right. Enemy AI empty. So we do... We are able to loot them. We can take their weapons. That's nice. All right. Let's get back here. So I'm just going to mention this as well because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this question even though it's said in the intro and I said it before. This is a single-player experience at first. And, oh, well, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Let's see, do we have any more peeps around? I don't know if that was the guy that shot me on the road. He ran back, but... Oh, I can hear movement. Alright, we got some new guns, and I thought we would try this again with a little bit of rain. We do have the storm as well that we're gonna check out. Maybe the sp storm during night, I don't know. Let's see, we're just gonna follow this road down. I think most of the house is gonna look the same. We can go into them though. Let's start with the yellow one right here. Oh, did you see that? Dude, that, that was actually nasty, I didn't like that at all. Wait, what gun is that that is using? Oh, that's sexy. That was sexy. Let's get in and check this out. I want to see how the rain sounds when we're inside. All right, just the same. So nothing on that yet. So cool, I love that. Alright, let's see where these guys are. And if you're trying this out, you can change the weather, you can change if you want them to spawn or not. You can change the day of time. 
pick the rest of the house. All right, nothing. I'm gonna check these places as well. We need to check that out. You know what? Before that, let's change to storm. So that's so it seems like the storm brings in a little bit more heavy rain, and uh, it gives us some. Is that thunder? Oh, you know what? <gasps> we need to check that during night. that oh. wow yeah i like that a lot that's really cool let's try neutral here i kind of want to see how it looks like when they shoot at us we got we got that a little bit like briefly right so let's see if we can get these guys to spawn in they should be here somewhere i can't see shite oh there you go oh yeah oh there you go Alright, you're right. And let there be dusk. Gonna check this barn out. I really do like what he's done so far with this. This dev is... Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to blow his ego up or anything like that, but he he totally deserves it. Damn. Oh, this looks like the camp spot he got. If you guys have seen his uh, previous uh, videos on, on YouTube, he got a little bit of a camp spot going. I like this. Can I actually put... I can ignite it. Wow. Yeah, I like that. We got a tent going. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Got someone moving around. On the other side of the building. We're gonna keep on moving on to check the other buildings as well. He got a really good video on his YouTube as well, showing how the enemy... <clears throat> that shows how the enemies move around, how they actually spot you and stuff like that. Because they don't want the enemies to be able to shoot you through the trees like this, right? Without even seeing you. So, he's working on a system. I don't know if that's in yet, but he's working on a system where they should act a little bit more realistic. Because, obviously, you don't want the AI to be able to laser beam you through a tree when they shouldn't see you, right? Oh! Road to Vostok. Playtesting can be exhausting. Here's a little snack. Can't pee pee- Can't pee soup! Dude! That's amazing, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I yeah, I can see them over there. You know what? Let's see if we can snipe that guy. Ah, oh, shit. I screwed up. Who do I think I am? I know that I can't aim. <laughs> but I don't really know how the base stuff is going to look. If I mean, with the... Are you going to have a base? Are you going to have a hideout and stuff like that that you can upgrade? You go out into the world to loot up and make that hideout a little bit uh, better? Or is it just going to be you out on the road? Wait, how do I get out of here? I don't really know. That's going to be very, very interesting. All right. Let's sprint over here. Check the red house out. And then we're going to go up to the radio tower, I guess. Oh, it feels really good sprinting. It feels so... <laughs> Let's
let's not talk about it. So the time of day right now is dawn. It looks amazing. I like this. A little bit gray. A little bit washed out. I like that. Very nice. So let's check this out. I don't think it's anything special. It's just a radio tower, right? Yep, nothing here. Look at this! I love that! So you can see condition, you can see the ammo cap capacity, the fire mode, ammo type, and muscle. What kind of muscle you have on. That is really cool. Let's, uh, let's check this one. The most decked out one. Yeah, that is sexy, though. That is super, super sexy. All right, we got a little bit of a camp spot going here as well. Oh, look at this, dude. Can I, I can ignite it, right? Yes. Can I sit down? Oh, no. All right, let's get back to the demo zone. Or demo transition. That's the transition that's going to be between zones. So I don't think I spoke anything about that. With the um, with the different zones you're going to be in. You're going to be walking from zone to zone. Pretty much. It's not going to be a full open world. I think it's, gonna, it's called semi-open world. And you work yourself through the different zones to uh, what I think to cross the Russian border back into Finland. I I might also be wrong on that, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't really know what the objective is right now, but uh, I guess we're going to see in the future. And I think we are pretty happy. I mean, I'm not a reviewer. I don't really know what to look about this. I would jump into a game to see how it feels, how it plays. As I said, it's a little bit of a different video. But let me tell you this much. I am super excited about this. And I urge you, if you guys find this a little bit interesting, go and download the demo and check it out for yourself. How it feels. It feels really smooth. Get your own impression. Give some feedback. And hopefully you can get excited for a new survival shooter. Right now, as a Swedish boy, I need to say, Finland. I'm very impressed. And I'm excited to see what we're going to get in the future. Once again, guys, if you want to fo follow the development of this, go to uh, the YouTube of uh, Road to Vostok and uh, the Twitter. I'm going to show everything down below. If you want to support this dev, go and check the Patreon out. Now, there's only one more thing for me to say. My name is Fisk. Thank you for watching. <laughs>